you could say this is a smart phone conversation. Um, but I'm just gonna call this mobile phone edition. But you know, um, there's some smart Alex out there that would say, "Oh, you're copying ideas." Hey, but yeah, that's what we're meant to do, man. And more so, um, we're meant to follow in the footsteps of our teachers, man. Not follow them and gimmick or um, mock. When I say mock them, as in, you know, try and reincarnate what they're doing the exact way they're doing it, trying to be like them. No, but we follow what they're teaching at the f- at, and the way they do it at the core principle of things, which is this truth, man, because they're our teachers. And right now, in the world of Israel, if you want to say that, there's a lot of um, people trying to do their own thing, coming up with their own ideas, their own ideologies, etc., etc., and then that ends up with them um, being caught out, going off, and then slowly but surely losing the oil, and then bam, they're out, man. So yeah, we are meant to copy our teachers, you know, because... Those those are the men that the Lord has set up. Yeah, how about Shem Yashai set up? But anyways, enough of that. Um, I think I said it, but I'll say it again. All praise to the Most High. Yeah, how about Hashem Yahweh Shai? But Hashem Makar Kadash. Alright, and there's still people out there saying the name wrong, man. Learn the name, man. Okay, because that's the key to our salvation. Double honest to our apostles, obviously, and elders, great right, millstone. Salutation to the Akim out there that pushed this word, man, in truth and in sincerity. But anyways, um, I'm bouncing off one of Apostle Gubar's videos, okay? Because that's what we do as well, man. You know, you you look at um the Apostles' videos, um, the different brother, the elders' videos, the different Akim's videos, and they give you inspiration to, if not do the same video bounce off it in a different light man okay so um yeah i was watching one of apostle gabar's videos and he was talking about um uh when people ask or say there's so many israelite groups out there um how come you all don't get together all right and i've never thought of it in this light and that goes to show that you know the spirit reveals you can always get something a new revelation from the scriptures if it be in the truth anyway and apostle goba was pretty much saying that the answer that to that question is is that did jehawashai get along with the pharisees because the pharisees were a set to an office in israel at that time and you know, they were there were righteous men of the Pharisees, like um Nicodemus, you know, uh Joseph of Arimathea who gave his grave to Yahushai. So there were righteous men in the Pharisaeutical order because Paul <laughs> said he I'm a Pharisee of the Pharisees. So the Pharisaeutical order is not or was not um a bad or off key office, you know, it was administers of the law, but the majority of them in as individuals were off. So the quest or the answer to um why did it, don't all the Israelite groups get along is really answered with a question. Why doesn't why didn't Yahweh Shai get along with the majority of the Pharisees? Like anyway, this is the book of Matthew twenty three and I'm gonna start I'll just start at, at verse one. And it says, Then spake Yahweh to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, meaning that they are the ones that give the law, because um, the law was came from the Mosai to Moses, then Moses to the nation of Israel. Really to the men of Israel, then the men of Israel to their wives and children. So that was the order of the Pharisees to administer the law. Verse 3. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do, but do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. So they were saying the right things <coughs> about the law, Selakia, but their actions themselves were contrary to what they were saying according to the word of the law. 
for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne and lay them on men's shoulders but they themselves will not move them one of their fingers but all their works they do for to be seen of men they make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments <coughs> so like yeah, I seem to be getting a bit of a cold so if I'm coughing excuse me but you know even in this day and age we know what kind of camp what kind of camp does that <laughs> Verse 6, and loved the uppermost rooms at feasts, and the chief seats in the synagogues, and greetings in the markets. Because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's Israelite custom to greet each other when you, when you see each other, man. Alright? Hey, we do that today. When the Akim see each other, we greet each other. And when we depart, we also give each other a salute. But these... Of ones of the Pharisees, um, they were doing it to be seen in the holy light of uh, of of people in the public in the marketplaces and greetings in the markets and to be called of men Rabbi Rabbi, which means nothing but master or teacher. But being, but be not ye called Rabbi, for one is your master. Even Hamashiach And all ye are brethren So really he's saying That's why we don't call each other rabbi by the way Because we got apostles We got elders We got officers You know We got um, You know These different officers